I'm out here with Nate. We're back in the mountains. We just pulled up to our parking spot. We're gonna hike in. This is the start of it, the start of our fall season. Both Nate and I have bear tags in our pockets, so we're gonna hike into this little spot where uh, we know of that has some huckleberries. I haven't done much scouting, so I don't know how the berries are doing. I've just heard that they're ripe early this year. Look like 20 yards to the left of that tree. It's a bear. Is it? It looks like a bear, but I haven't seen it move. It definitely looks like the color of a bear. Country. Almost too much. The hillside is starting to shade out, so theoretically we think the bears are gonna get up and moving pretty soon here. We're gonna sit here till last light, till we can't glass anymore. Try to get some bears coming through. It's been pretty slow, but got good hopes. Maybe something will pop out. We have to make, it's a small bear. Small bear? Smaller bear. I'm just gonna look at him though. You have it? I have him. It's a smaller bear. 318. So let's watch it for Probably a Probably like a what? 100 pound bear. That small? Yeah, it's not very big. <laughs> but we need to wait for it to get out. Though. Yeah, he's not. Huh? I'm. I would take it. Okay. We have been sitting here for hours, and. Uh, like I said, Nate looked down 318 yards away and he spotted a bear. It's not a big bear, but we have two tags and Nate's not very picky. So, and a bear's a bear at the end of the day. So we're just gonna, you know, take our time, kind of look at it. And in the meantime, also keep our eyes out for other bears that could be coming out because it is right around that time when the shadows of the trees are getting long, the sun's starting to dip, and bears are getting up and moving. So one thing with bears is you always want to be patient because you never want to shoot, accidentally shoot a sow with cubs. Um, so whenever you go bear hunting, just be a little bit patient uh, with the bear, especially when you're glassing stuff like this where it's thick, where it can be very hard to spot like a second bear, like a cub, you know. So we're just gonna be extra patient. We have plenty of time. The sun is still high. Still got like two and a half hours of light, so. Nate went down to the road. He's currently setting up his rifle for the shot. 
there's a lot of brush underneath the road, so I told them to go out and just clear the uh, shot lane while I keep eyes on this bear. This bear is slowly feeding its way up the ridge, just munching on berries. Once Nate gets ready, then I'll go over and we'll tag team this. You want me to come over? I'll come over. I just did. Yep. I see him. I'm not ready. That's okay. You see him? Uh, not yet. He's broadside in the opening. Yeah. Hold up. Let me just try to get the spotter on. Are you dialed? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Hold up, let me try to get on. Let me just shoot him. No, that wasn't me. That was not you? Nope. Oh, really wasn't you? No. That sounded close. That was super close. They're right they're above us. Are they? It had to be. It sounded like suppressed. It did. I think that was that bear, right? Oh they hit him. They hit him? Yeah, I saw him react. They hit him. Talk about a first for everything. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude, that's, I thought you accidentally pulled the trigger. No. Um, we were right about ready to get set up on that bear. I was just basically getting the scope on the bear and then as I was doing that, a gunshot went off and they hit that bear. He reacted, hit. Um, there's a road right above us and I think they were on top and they shot over us. I don't think they know we were here. No. And like I said, I have nothing against them. It's just, I was not expecting that. No, me neither. I was not expecting any sort of thing like that. We haven't even seen a vehicle at like trailheads. Yeah, we haven't seen any cars and uh, I guess they came in for the evening and yeah I think they I think I'm here okay well we just talked to the two hunters that shot that bear and it's it is so weird we were sitting right under these two trees they were only sitting like 60 yards above us and we've been sitting on top of each other for like the past two hours 
And we had no idea they were there and they had no idea we were there. And so we were like six, sitting 60 yards apart and we basically saw this bear at the same time and pretty much almost shot the bear at the same time. Very close. Very close. Like, right. like you guys saw the spawning scope. Like I was literally about ready to drop my spotting scope and have him in the in the frame of my spotting scope and that's when they shot and nate was probably nate was just waiting for me to give him the green light if yeah. i had like five maybe 10 more seconds i would have said shoot him but it's just crazy like, yeah crazy is the perfect word to describe it. i did not expect anything of that sort to uh to happen but the guy's names josh and cody um, Cody was the one that shot and this is his first bear. So I'm, I'm absolutely jacked for him. Cause it looked like he smoked him. He shot. And again, I was still in the process of moving, moving my spotting scope. So the footage wasn't the best, but I could tell he got hit hard. He's shooting a 30 odd six and we could just hear the bear start crashing down into the brush. So, uh, we talked to them, uh, two super cool dudes. Um, and they're going to walk this road down, which this road is going to take them straight to where that bear is. So we figured we're just gonna stay back because there's two two of them. The bear's not super big, so they can handle him. We're actually gonna stay back. We exchange phone numbers that way. If they need help to find the location where they shot the bear, or to just be in the general area, they can call us. So we're gonna help them out by just being um, the overseer, basically. But meanwhile, this is happening. We're also keeping our eyes out for other bears that could be popping out because it's opening day, man. These bears, they could be anywhere. Took us two hours to hike back into this little spot that we dropped some pins on. It's 12.30 and this morning the weather condition was perfect. Right now a lot of clouds are moving out and the sun's high. So we're expecting not a lot of activity. So we're just glassing one big mountain and it looks promising. But looking promising is not the same thing as actually promising. So. We're just gonna stay posted up on this side of the ridge. We're glassing across a creek onto that side. Gut instinct says there's gotta be a bear in there. We'll find out. I think it's more of a matter if we pick him out rather than if there's actually a bear there. I think there is a bear in there. Just so thick. I don't know if we can pick him out. Dude, imagine being a bear in this weather with that thick coat. I know where I'd be. I do too. Not where we're looking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nope. It's a tiny bear. It looks like a cub. It looked big when it was in the open. I thought it was a stump. Yeah, he's small. Like tiny, tiny. Where is that? That far knob, right before you go to those trees. It's a tiny bear, like I would. That's gotta be a cub, like a legitimate cub with a sow. It is 4.45 PM, been sitting here for four hours. Haven't seen much, just some deer. We've been having some very blessed cloud cover, which has shaded the entire mountain that we are originally glassing in. I was just looking out in this little open patch and I'm like, man, that stump is really black and I'm pretty sure it wasn't there earlier. So I grabbed my spotter and sure enough, it's a bear, but it looks so small. Like, 
it's so small to the point where it's like, it's got to be a cub with a sow. Oh, I think it is a sow and a cub. Okay, so I think the first one I saw was a sow. That's the sow. Yeah, because that's a much bigger bear. Okay, confirms it. It's a sound of cub. They're feeding right on this knob that we can get across to. Obviously, it's a sound of cub, so we're not going after that. 1,600 yards away. And uh, sure is a sound of cub. That's a beautiful sow. Do you see him? No. They're walking to the left into the timber. Do you see this far point right here? That middle ridge? Yeah. You see that upper road, right? Second yeah. road? Go up to that clearing where oh. that clearing where it's gonna go into the timber patch. And they're right there. We have figured out that it's probably a lot thicker over there than we thought it was. The more we glassed it, I think we're just glassing the tops of bushes and trees that are about 8 to 12 feet tall. So it's really hard to see bear in that. So we're going to pack up, um, head to a new spot, hike out in the dark here, head to a new spot so that we can hike into the morning and be there for first light. It's kind of our last morning um, as we both head on to next fall hunt plans so last little bonsai try in the morning at a new spot and see what we see, see what we can see